I'm Corrine Lawrence. I'm a mediator, I'm a facilitator, and a coach, and a mentor. I am a mother, and a sister, and a daughter. I'm a friend to many, and more than anything, I'm a friend to myself. In 2008, I developed the first version of what's now Values-Based Living, or VBL. Just before having my daughter, I found myself navigating some really tricky situations, personalities, relationships, and what each of these external forces had in common is that they had no interest in what I needed. I was feeling lost. I was feeling helpless. I was feeling victimized. I was a new mom that had lost my self-identity, and I'd lost my way in knowing how to make the, the changes that were necessary in my life. Even therapy wasn't providing the specific and the tangible results that I needed. New Age self-help books weren't helping me to manifest the positive changes that each $30 book promised. And the problem is, is that I was surrounded by assholes and surrounded by unsupported relationships. I couldn't self-help my way out of that. And let me be clear, they weren't necessarily bad people, they just were not what I needed in my life at that time. So I turned to the skill set that I know brings order to chaos, the conflict resolution skill set. I'm a mediator, this is what I use. But the challenge remained that I couldn't negotiate in good faith with the external forces that had no interest in my life. I realized as well that I was in lifelong relationships with high conflict personalities that had no interest or even genuine capacity in understanding what I needed and they had an even less interest in trying to meet those needs for me. I was in this alone. So I worked with what I had. I Frankenstein these conflict resolution skill sets of value identification, listening skills, communication skills, and I turned my curiosity inward. Um, and I, I'm, I was looking at the internal conflict that I was experiencing, and I became my own coach, my own mediator. And I spent time discovering which of my values were being frustrated and learning how to satisfy those values. I created self-discovery and moved that knowledge into discovering what I do want and what I do need. And that was what I didn't know before. So in short, I created a process to listen to and understand myself. And what happened felt miraculous to me. I could release from the victim mentality that others were holding me down or holding me back. I could find the assertive language that I needed to say what I wanted and what I needed. It was easier also for the people around me to help and support me. And when they chose not to, that was the information I needed to make the decisions in my life that needed to be made. Knowing my triggers gave me emotional distance from those goddamn hot buttons. I was clear again in who I was and what I stood for. And I realized that I had created something special that I could replicate and teach to others. Um, and it would be specifically tailored to their unique value sets. I created a coaching mentoring program that I launched as one-on-one -on -one coaching, which had tremendous success for my clients. And now I've partnered with Ali Ansel, uh, who is an exceptionally talented mediator and conflict resolution specialist, and she's talented in so many ways. Um, and she's also similarly dedicated to self-awareness as an ongoing process. Together, we built a series of workshops in the Values-Based Living Program, which is a step-by-step -step or a how-to guide for creating and living a values-based life regardless of the utter chaos that's around you. And that begins with the Know Your Values course that is the prerequisite for all VBL workshops.